सो हाय एवरीवन माय नेम इज शिवम बोहरा आई एम अ थर्ड ईयर कंप्यूटर साइंस इंजीनियरिंग स्टूडेंट फ्रॉम देहरादून आई लव सॉल्विंग प्रॉब्लम्स एंड आई आल्सो लव टू टीच वेलकम टू आवर चैनल लर्न कंपेटेटिव प्रोग्रामिंग विद कोड शेयर सो इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड इन कंपेटेटिव प्रोग्रामिंग एंड वांट टू लर्न एंड मास्टर डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड एल्गोरिदम्स देन दिस इज अ वन स्टॉप डेस्टिनेशन फॉर यू हियर वी पोस्ट वीकली प्रॉब्लम एक्सप्लेनेशंस conceptual videos on various programming paradigms and also conduct live problem solving sessions so before we actually get started here's a reminder for you to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already yet so welcome to this course in which we are going to solve some extremely basic problems for absolute beginners now the prerequisite for this particular course is the fundamentals of programming and some basic knowledge of c++ so if you want to learn that then we do have a separate course on it the link is given in the description so let's get started so the first problem that we have is by please the problem link is in the description firstly try to solve this problem on your own then you may come back and watch the solution so the problem statement says that chef went to a shop and buys a pens l and b pencils each pen costs x units and each pencil costs y units now find what is the total amount chef will spend to buy a pens and b pencils so basically we have a pens we have b pencils the cost of a single pen is x units and the cost of a single pencil is y units right and we have to find the total cost of buying a pens and b pencils right uh the input contains four space separated integers which are a b x and y and they are going to be in this order that is the first integer would be a the second one would be would be b and the rest two would be x and y right and the constraints are that all these four values would be as small could be as small as 1 and they could be as big as 10 to the power 3 now this is the sample input that is the first number over here is a second one is b third is x and fourth one is y right so we have two pens we have four pencils the cost of a single pen is 4 and similarly the cost of a single pencil is 5 right so we have two pens and the cost of a single pen is 4 hence the cost of two pens would be 2 multiplied by 4 which is 8 similarly the cost of four pencils would be 4 multiplied by 5 which is 20 so 8 plus 20 is 28 so the total cost would be 28 right similarly if we have a single pen and a single pencil in this case the cost of a single pen would be 4 the cost of a single pencil would be 8 so the total cost would be 4 plus 8 8 which is 12 right so in the first case our output is 28 and in the second case our output is 12 so in the first example we can see that we have to multiply the number of pens with the cost of a single pen and we have to multiply the number of pencils with the cost of a single pencil and then we simply have to add these two values right so we have to multiply the number of pens which is a by the cost of a single pen which is x so we have to multiply a with x similarly we have to multiply b with y and then we have to add these two values right so basically we have to uh, firstly we have to store all those four integers inside these four variables a b x and y then we have to multiply a with x b with y and add these two and store this value inside a variable let's call it ans for answer and then we simply have to print this ans right so let's write the code for this uh simply switch to ide mode if you are uh in in this non id mode right so i'll have to create four variables a b x and y right then i'll store uh the input inside these four variables a b x and y then uh i'll create a variable ans and i'll multiply x with uh not x a with x and i'll add b multiplied by y inside this variable ans right 
and then I'll simply have to print our ans. Uh, let me give a custom input uh, 1184, uh, right? Let's run our program so that if we have any compilation errors, then we'll get it over here. So we have no compilation errors. The output is correct. 8 plus 4 is 12. So let's finally submit our code. And let's see whether our uh, code is correct or not. So here we'll get our uh, verification. So here we can see that we got the correct answer. So the second problem that we have is Raju and his trip. Again, the problem link is in the description. So first try to solve this problem on your own. Then you may come back and watch the solution. So the problem statement says that Raju is planning to visit his favorite restaurant. He shall travel it by bus. Only the buses whose numbers are divisible by five or by six shall take him to his destination, right? You are given a bus number n. Find if Raju can take that bus or not. Print yes if, if he can take the bus. Otherwise print no. So basically what we are given is we are given a bus number n. We are given a bus number n. If this bus number n is divisible by 5 or by 6, then Raju can take this bus. And in this case, we have to print yes. If this n is not divisible by 5 or by 6, then we have to print no, right? So the input contains a single integer n and we have to print yes or no, uh, depending upon whether this n is divisible by 5 or 6 or not, right? So here, uh, this n could be uh, as small as 1 and it could be as big as 10 to the power 6. So if n is 60, then we know that 60 is divisible by 5 and also by 6. So in this case, we'll print yes. 16 is neither divisible by 5 nor by 6. So in this case, our output is no. And 20 is divisible by 5. Hence, in this case, our output is yes, right? So the logic is very simple. Firstly, we, uh, or we simply have to see whether this n is divisible by 5 or by 6, right? So firstly, Firstly, we have to input this number n or we have to store uh, the integer inside this uh, variable n, right? Then we have to check whether this n is divisible by 5 or by 6 or not. To check whether it is divisible by 5 or not, we simply have to write if n mod 5 equals to equals to 0. Mod is simply the remainder operator. If on dividing, if on dividing n by 5, if the remainder is 0, this means that this n is divisible by 5. Similarly, on dividing n by 6, if the remainder is 0, this mod is the remainder operator. If the remainder is 0, then it means that this n is divisible by 6. So if n is divisible by 5 or this is the or symbol, right? Or if n is divisible by 6, then in this case, we'll print yes. Otherwise, we'll print no, right? If this condition is false, then we'll print no, right? So let's move on to the code. Let's uh, submit the code for this. So this is uh, the code. Let me first erase it and rewrite it for you. So we'll simply first create a variable n and we'll store the input inside this variable n, right? Then I have to check whether this uh, variable n is divisible by 5 or not. So I'll write if n mod 5 equal, equals to equals to 0 or if n mod 6 equal, equals to equals to 0. If this is if this condition is true, then I'll write or I'll print yes. Right. If this condition is true, if this condition is false, then I'll go to the else part and I'll simply write no. Right. So let's just uh, run this code. Let's say our uh, number is 10. So our output should be yes. So it's running our program. So the output is yes. 
and similarly if i write 11 here then the output would be no right and one uh, another thing is that if 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 we have if we have only one statement this is the statement right if we have only one statement inside this if condition right then we can simply remove this curly braces we can simply remove this curly braces and similarly in the else part too right we can also remove this uh, extra space right so even if i remove this uh, curly braces then also my program would still be executed in the same way right so if i submit my program then let's see whether i'll get the correct answer or not so my submission uh, is being verified or my code is being verified against multiple test cases so here we can see that i got the correct answer 